We are leaving the Niagara Falls area on Tuesday morning, headed to the scenic route, Great Lakes Seaway Trail. Uh, hopefully making it into Rochester today. Turn right on trail. Seriously. On my way to Fort Niagara, I stumbled upon the cutest little town in Lewiston, New York. I loved the vegetation around the town, the cute little shops, the restaurants, and this real community feel in the area. It's definitely a must-see while you're here. We're headed north and then east on the Great Lakes Seaway Trail. This is about a 520 mile trail, but it started back in Pennsylvania, so we've been on this for several days now. Niagara Falls was really amazing, and I actually didn't show you guys, I, I don't know why I didn't film it, but um, my bike pedals fell off as I was cycling through the park, and so I had to kind of cut my trip short a little bit inside the park, just because I was dealing with that, and then I had to get to work, so. Oh well, such is life, you know, I still have to work and I have that obligation and so I needed to make sure I was there and available and I had to actually walk my bike back to the RV twice because the first time the pedal fell off I went to go get the wrench to put it back on and then brought the wrench with me and then the other bike pedal fell off and the screws are stripped, everything's stripped on it so I have to get it replaced. So I already found a bike shop in Rochester that's going to um, fix it for me. So we're headed to Rochester. I think I'll be there tonight, but I'm not sure. We'll see. Uh, there's so many beautiful places along the way. Um, so this is Lake Ontario now. We've been at Lake Erie back uh, west, and then now we're at Lake Ontario. So we're here at Old Fort Niagara in Fort Niagara State Park. French and Indian War came was here. The War of 1812. Okay, so the charge to get in here is $12. And it gets you into the museum, which is where we are now. And then you get to go into all of the buildings down at the fort and see where the soldiers were at, where the war took place. And they even have musketeers down there. So anyways, I'm excited. Yay! I love history. Standard U.S. Army uniform. Lieutenant's dress uniform. <laughs> it's a fancy. Circa 1917. Fort Niagara Military Reservation, October 1914. Can I get in there? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at their little glasses. That is impressive. So we'll find out what this is. The capture of the Fort Niagara flag, 1813. And British troops launched their assault on Fort Niagara. Among the items captured was the fort's large garrison flag. Just start with the movie if you want to watch it. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. In this rare collection of original military architecture is the oldest building on the Great Lakes. It's real. This isn't a movie. It's not uh, a made-up facade. This is this is real history, and you get to come in contact with all of these great events. That's a very, very rare opportunity to have. Okay, we're going in. There's the uh, wheels to <laughs> lock the doors and close them. Careful, 
left. Wheel. Front. Yeah. I'm the Cooper. I'm the person that makes barrels and buckets. Buckets and barrels. Yep. And uh, this is the provision storehouse where uh, barrels have been stored. Mm -hmm. Pretty much everything except here on Valor, which was on the uh, farm magazine. Okay. So welcome to the North Redoubt, kind of a fort within a fort. Seeing as I entrusted this to the 8th Regiment, I know exactly who to blame. <laughs> You're doing a fantastic job. Oh, thank you for saying so, madam. You've come across any questions or queries or concerns that you might encounter, you're also don't hesitate to ask me. I tend to, I tend to know a fair bit about where my guns are quartered. I get freaked out by stairs that are steep. Uh, you're in the wrong fort, madam. <laughs> but we have all the way around here. That's okay. I'll get down. I'm fine. Or should I say drummers? Yeah. Good morning. Okay, my friends, I just finished the Fort Niagara museum tour and gosh, it's just so amazing. The history and I, these are things that I didn't know about or I, maybe I learned in high school and I just don't remember. But um, anyways, no, I did not. I'm looking at myself over here. I did not just get out of the shower. That is called sweat. It is so humid. It rained really hard last night. And it is so humid, we're out by the water, and the entire back of my head is just drenched. Anyways, alright, we're headed off to finish up this part of the Great Lakes Seaway Trail in Rochester. Uh, we'll be headed east now, so see you on the road. After leaving Fort Niagara, I spotted a cute little farmer's market off the side of the road. So we're going to put our pen up in Seattle, Washington. Oh my gosh, look at these fairies. I don't know if you can see. Uh -huh. These are called white cherries. They're grown locally. One lemon. Sack of potatoes. Blueberries. I'm just going to wash a little bit at a time. Now I have my little bowl for my snack. We're in Alcott, New York. We came across this statue, SB Camp Post. A super cute town. This is 
we're all caught beach. Lily and I enjoyed the sun and the water at Alcott Beach and watched sailboats in the distance. What another perfect day. Just as we were leaving, we ran into a couple with a dog and found out they were staying at Golden Hill State Park, where I had been thinking about overnighting. They had commented that they really liked it, so off we went to the state park to see if they had any openings. We were in luck. They did, and with a waterfront view. This is Lake Ontario. What are you doing, girl? Come here. Come on, Lily. She loves it. <laughs> You're so silly, girl. So beautiful out here, and I've got this amazing, amazing spot that overlooks the lake. And I was just told that the sunsets are amazing over here. So I can't wait to now tonight and we can see the sunset over Lake Ontario. <laughs> I have a big old grin on my face, don't I? I just love this place. I'm so glad I found it. I was going to try to stay two days, but um, they already had someone coming in tomorrow. And I was on my way to Rochester, but... Well, I still am on my way to Rochester, but I was going to stay over there today. The park here is, it was $30, that's with tax and everything for me, and because I'm a new, I'm not a New York resident, I think they charged me like an extra five bucks or something, but it's only electric, and that's, I didn't even really need that. It would have been nice to have water though, but that's okay, I'll take what I can get, and I'm full on water, and they have a dump station, so I was able to dump everything. But it worked out well, so I don't think that's bad. Twenty-eight, thirty dollars for this beautiful site and beautiful camp area. So very, very nice people that are visiting here. I've met some lovely neighbors already, and um, anyway, so maybe we'll hang out later. All right, see you guys later. So we did, in fact, meet up that night with Mark and Grant and their crazy dog Queenie who, by the way, Lily was not very fond of because Queenie just wanted to be up in Lily's face. Nevertheless, we had a great night and great conversation, and they invited me to their home in rural New York if I was passing through. So, of course, I said yes, and I would be down there sometime in August or September. I'll definitely be back to Golden State Park, but unfortunately, it was time to leave the next day and head to Rochester, New York for some errands and get the bike fixed. I'm still on the Great Seaway Trail and ran into this spectacular rainstorm along the way as I pulled into the bike shop in Rochester. Lily and I are here in Rochester, New York. Uh, we left Golden Hills State Park this morning and ran into a little bit of a storm as we were uh, coming up the highway. Nothing bad, just uh, it was raining quite a bit, but it's muggy again. So much better the last, well, I guess day. But it's hot. It's really only like 77, I think, outside. But with the humidity, it's pretty humid and makes you hot. So um, I have all the windows open right now, which may or may not be helping. But I have fans going. I have this little fan down here that I bought. I showed you guys earlier. That seems to help move the air around in here also. And so I am just doing errands. I'm going to probably be here for a couple of days, if not three just today. Today's Wednesday. So yeah, I'll probably be here for t at least two, definitely today and tomorrow. And then maybe Friday. Really need to do laundry, but I have a ton of conference calls today and tomorrow. So I may find a laundry mat and then just sit on the parking lot and take all my conference calls as laundry is working. But anyway, I'll get that figured out. So um, I had to go to the grocery store. Some gentlemen that I met when I was at Golden Hill State Park. Amazing, amazing. I had such a great time with them last night. We just set out. They they're new to RVing as well. They just bought a beautiful Airstream. We had a great time just chatting and they're from New York. And, and so um, they told me about all these like cool places to go to. And one of them was Wegmans here. And well, I don't know if it's cool. Maybe it is, maybe it's not, but I'll say it's dangerous. They've got a ton of really great foods and a really good store actually. So Wegmans here, I just went to Wegmans and got some groceries. 
I got my bike fixed. Now I'm over here at, I'll show you if I can, Park Avenue Bike Shop. They are actually putting the fenders on my bike because when I'm in the bike trailer with Lily, some of that dirt kind of kicks up into her eyes and I don't want her to damage her eyeballs. So she's not real keen on the goggles that I bought her. So I'm pretty sure the fenders will work better. So we're doing that today. And then what else? Oh, I gotta take Lily tomorrow to the vet. We're gonna get her liver enzymes checked again since she had some high elevations this last year. And then get her rabies certification and her shot records and stuff so that when we go into Canada we have all the documentation in case they ask for it. And that's it for now. Except, oh, I do want to say, and I mentioned it earlier, is that I did have a really great time last night. I wanted to stay at that Golden Hill State Park another night, but my space was already rented out. Um, as, you know, part of not making reservations, I suppose. And I could have gone to a different site, but the internet wasn't really good. And the other sites, it was just good enough where I was at. And so, and I was more of a, in an open kind of an area. And so I was concerned about obviously being on conference calls pretty heavily for the next two days and then on my computer. So that would not work out. I have to make sure that I'm able to work. So, but anyways, I had a really good time with them. Such wonderfully nice people. Um, all of them were from New York and then just kind of going out for the week and having a little bit of fun. So anyways, I had a good time. It's times like this that I just, I love about RVing is meeting all of these people and finding out about their lives and kind of what got them into RVing and just, I don't know, just meeting really great people and everybody's so happy when they're RVing like it's amazing <laughs> anyways so I'll see you guys a little bit later bye join me in the next video as I visit Wellesley Island State Park which is part of the Thousand Islands and then wrap up the last 71 miles of this quest on the Great Lakes Seaway Trail and as always if you like what you're seeing please go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel Comment below and like and share my videos. Thank you.